SCP-999! Is he still here? Are you still here? <gasps> he is! Oh, he's got his little candy food. And he's got like some form of bath bed. This is great. Should we open it up? He should just play with us. We're going to tickle fight. Tickle, 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 tickle. Flubber, 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 flubber. Oh, we can stretch. Hello everyone and welcome back to SCP Lab Rat. I have with me a level 4 keycard and that is going to get us into all sorts of fun. I think we probably have maybe like level 5 that we have to get all the way to and then from that we probably can just go ahead and escape. Perhaps. I'm not too sure. With the way of the old SCP Blackout games, that was kind of how the thing worked. You just went and got level 5 keycard and then you were hunky-dory. But now that we have level 4, we can go ahead and explore some of the other interesting SCPs, like SCP-079, for instance. Again, we saw that one in SCP Nucalypse, but that was an SCP Nucalypse, and this is SCP Containment Breach. Or SCP Labrat, should I say. Commonly mistaken with SCP Containment Breach. So it's always good to see them in a different cage. Maybe we'll learn something new from the current one. We didn't get a document on SCP-049 in the last one, or I didn't find one at least. So maybe we'll get one here. Control error. Oh, he's not letting us in. He doesn't want to see us. Well, we want to see you. Try again. Try again. Try again. I want to see inside there. Maybe we can use the body as a wedge. Come here. My uber strong strength. Get your head there. Ready? <laughs> I'm gonna scan the door. And ram this guy's face in there. You will be useful to us. Ah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I tried my best. Oh well. Guess that one was short and sweet. There's probably another way to get in, so we will come back. Don't you worry. We've also got SCP-106's containment chamber, which I'm really excited to find out about. I want to know how they've contained this guy. That way's the gate of death. I'd rather not do that, if I'm honest. So let's go this way. This was back here with the, uh... This thing. Whatever the hell it is. It looks big here, but for all we know, it could be this big. We might just see it running around the floor like spider size. It's so hard to tell in this game. Ah, oh, but this is the real containment chamber. And there's no way of actually unlocking it, I don't think. It's not like there's anything on the walls, no panels. Which is probably for the best. Judging by this thing, I'm not sure I want to go and see it myself. Looks like... Voldemort scraped his face on some sandpaper or something. So I think this one had an error on it as well. Yeah. 106's containment chamber was around here somewhere. Can we get in here now? This was level 5. So it seems like our ultimate goal may be to release the Omega Warhead and just nuke the facility. I think containment breach had multiple endings, but I'm not sure if this one does or not. I think we're exploring new paths at this point. I don't remember this at all. But with our gas mask, we should be able to get through without any problems. We haven't seen 173 in a while. I wonder when he's going to make his appearance. Something broke through. Oh god. What are we dealing with? Can I get in here? Do I have to crouch? Some blood. I need to save this. Like, now. <laughs> what are we dealing with? Is a cube? What are you? Oh, some form of bell. Like a cowbell. <laughs> That's horribly out of proportions. What is this? How are you even meant to chime it? It's not inside it. Ting-a-ling-a-ling. We'll take it with us. We don't need a level two. Maybe we can go in here. We can. 
SCP-513, Object Class Euclid. Well, we have it now. Oh, and there was the back entrance to 049. Okay, we're starting to get a bigger picture of the place now. That's useful. Control error. So this was the only way out. I wonder if 049 sat in the lift waiting for us. Oh, I just called it up. Why did I do that? He's going to be in there. He's not in there. Okay, looks like we gave him the slip. That's good. Well, we have this thing now. And maybe it was useful to, you know, be used as a bomb. I wonder if you chime it if it just, like, unleashes hell in the facility. And then another random exit chamber here. Okay. This was just another one of those, yeah, classic modular nuke project things. Just constantly hinting at us that the only way out of this is going to be to nuke the place. It is the only way, Anakin. I'd like to think that there's maybe a peaceful way out of this. I mean, most of the SCPs we've encountered haven't been peaceful, so why would we be peaceful? But... Oh! So there was a second lightning gate. Huh. That wasn't related to the first one. We could probably use that to get around and out. Was this blocked by a level 4? I don't think there was anything down there. What was over there? I'm starting to get lost. Ah, oh, so this was 106. Yes! I'm glad we're here. I'm glad we're here. Let's see how this guy's contained. Level 4. I wonder if he's still around here. He shouldn't be, because... He's been chasing us around like containment for god knows how long. But, I guess, you know, people like comfort. They like being in their own homes. And even if this is a bit of a prison cell for 106, it's probably the, the closest thing he's had to a home. Let me get the torch out. 106. Oh. Fema Breaker. Wait, whoa! This is a bit dramatic, isn't it? Is that like a hammer just gonna push down onto his leg? Sound transmission on... Elo HD, electromagnet, manual reboots also on. <gasps> we have a level 5! Wow. That escalated quickly. Let's break his femur. What have I done? What have I done? What is going on? Did we summon 106? Let's go find out. We shouldn't be here. We should not be here. Oh, that screaming was quite horrible. Oh, need this. It looks like he's in a suspended cage of some sorts. Oh, it's moving. So this must be the electromagnet. So he's in a hovering electromagnetic cage. Maybe that, like, maybe he can only move through surfaces that have, like, another side to them. And if he moves through a surface that doesn't have another side to it, well, he just can't. So if you suspend something in midair like this, then you can't move through the surface because on the other side is just pure air. I don't know, that seems a bit ridiculous, but that's my theory. Okay, well, there's nothing down here of any importance or relevance, so... I guess we just broke a guy's leg for nothing. 
Oh, well. One, oh, for science, you know? Once a scientist, always a scientist. Is someone right out there? What? Hello? What's happening? Who? Let me go. What? I just want to leave. I can't even turn this torch on. What is happening? Anyone out there? What the hell is happening? Annoyingly, this torch doesn't work anymore. When I reloaded it. But we got the teeny torch, so... <laughs> Ye old faithful teeny torch keeps us going. As I mentioned, I don't think there's anything down there. I really don't know what that was. It's hard to tell if an SCP was actually around us, or if it was just another bug with the game. But I guess we'll never know. Or well, hopefully we never find out. So we have the level 5 keycard now, which means we can go ahead and go into the nuke chamber. Um, I'm not sure if I want to escape just yet. I mean, we probably should, but... I'm enjoying the exploration. Like, there's so much left to kind of see and do that it's... It would almost be like a shame to have to... End it so quickly. If we happen to stumble back there, then I'll go through the door and, and we'll explore it, but... Yeah, it's kind of sad. We're, we're on an exciting journey together. Through all of this. I can't remember if there was any other doors that were level 5 locked. I don't think they were. Is this it? Yeah. Wow. I guess we'll go take a look. I can't imagine that you'd, we would be able to. I bet something's gone wrong. Maybe that AI's hacked it, or... We, we've got a couple more, like, areas to go yet. We've got the gate entrances and whatnot, so... Yeah, I, I can't imagine that this is the case. Whoa, but there's... This must be the warhead. So every facility has a nuke, basically, placed under it. For exactly such events where a containment breach occurs. An override can trigger, thus nuking the entire facility and stopping any more SCPs going into the world. Which I guess is noble, but it's a bit sad that we wouldn't be able to escape. Remote detonation or remote detonation of Alpha Warheads. Alpha or Omega, they're both on. What happens if we turn them off? Nothing, because these switches are so hard to use. <laughs> well, they're both off. So now no one can remotely detonate it. SCP-173 is coming to play. So if anything, all we've managed to do is make it so that any other facility cannot go into our network now and blow up the base. That almost seems like an evil ending. Oh well, I guess we're doing it this way. So if that's not the way out, then we... Then we'll have to find a different way out. There's no interactable or anything there, so there'll probably be a level 5 somewhere else. Was there a... door here? I just... What? What? Try the maintenance room. What's happened to our inventory? What is this? Where's everything else? I'm not even holding a torch anymore, I'm just holding a light! What the hell has happened? Oh, thank god. Oh, thank god. We still have everything. Okay, I thought for a second that we'd lost it all. We've made so much progress it would be awful to waste it now. So, while we find a different way out, I guess it's back to SCP story time. We've kind of had... We've had... SCP-308, which is like the big old IKEA store, we had SCP-999, which was the big orange jelly, and now I will tell you about SCP-2935. It's either 2935 or... It, yeah, I think it's 2935. So SCP-2935 is basically a cave located under a cemetery in Louisiana. And basically... This cave has since been concreted up by the SCP facility once they found it. But they detected radio waves coming from, 
from this cave. So they, they sent something in to investigate it, and they found that the cave goes through and comes out on the other side, and there is a place on the other side of this cave. Uh, to start with, they all believed that the other side of the cave was just quite literally the other side of the cave. Nothing extraordinary there, you just kind of go out and you're in, like, another place. But they quickly realised that this place is actually an alternative dimension. Uh, like a time froze, like a place in, in, in time that's been, like, frozen. And it's been frozen, weirdly, on April the 20th, 2016. And basically, on that day, they've discovered that all life in this alternative universe has ended on April the 20th, 2016, sometime between 3 and 4 p.m. It just stopped, ceased to exist, ceased to be. And that's all life. That's people, animals, plants, like IT, sentient robots, everything. I don't know if we had sentient robots in 2016. We certainly didn't. But, but all life of any kind has ended. We also have SCP-008, so that's interesting. I guess we'll go have a look. Oh, we need level 5 for this. Looks like COVID. Biological hazard. I really hope the YouTube algorithm doesn't pick up that keyword and just like completely demonetize me now. You never really know. Well, we got 173 over there, which isn't great. I'm going to save it looking at 173. I'm sure that's going to be fun if we die and come back. I'm not sure what's going on in here. Let's go take a look. I feel like we need a gas mask for this. There was one on the floor there, so we definitely do. Oh! Guy was taking no chances. Nothing. It looks like we're safe all the way up until we open the door at least, so that's nice. Doesn't seem to be anything else that's going to help us out here. I wonder what the point of this is. Yeah, we see him, we see him. Maybe this could kill 173 if we expose him to it? This is probably like a deadly, like, disease. That's it. Take it all in. Big breaths. Need you to breathe strong. While we get the hell out of here, basically. You can't do that! So I suppose if we want to figure this out, we're going to have to go through the other doorway. Which is this way. Which means we're going to have to come up face to face with it. So let's blink first, and then we'll go. Hi! We're just here for the document that's like right here on the table. Have I got it? Have I got it? I've got it. I've not got too long. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta... There's a button there. Oh, we went that way. Interesting. Um, that's fine. Should be okay. I'm not really taking many chances. Oh god, we gotta lock this too. Lock it! As in, shut it! Okay. This is SCP-008. Good, it's the right one. Okay, we're deviating from 2935 while we just do this. It'll be fine. Everything's fine. SCP-008 samples are extreme biological hazards and all related protocols apply. Incineration and irradiation measures will be deployed in the event of political or military action, which may result in the facility being dismantled or a power failure. If a breach has occurred, incineration or irradiation measures shall be deployed. SCP-008 is a complex prion, samples of which are stored in each of the known G2 sites. Traits of SCP-008 prion include 100% infectiousness, 100% lethality, and transmission through exposed mucous membranes and all bodily fluids. So it's just that, yeah, it's a hideous disease. Subject will attempt to ingest living humans if physical contact is made. SCP-500 has been found to be able to completely cure SCP-008 even in the advanced stages of the disease. Okay, so SCP-500 can cure you of the hideous disease that this infects, but other than that, it's pretty much fatal. So you get flu-like symptoms with a high fever, sounds familiar, plus severe dementia in later stages. Coma onset approximately 20 hours after first symptoms appear in 12 hours after noticeable dementia. Coma onset will be considered onset of death. No people come back from the coma then. Red blood cells greatly increase oxygen storage capacity, resulting in slower blood flow and increased muscle endurance and strength. Nervous and muscular systems are unaffected by total organ failure for several hours. Great. So you've got like, maybe about 20, 20 hours to live? Metabolism may decrease to extremely low levels, allowing subject to survive for over 10 years without nutrition. Wait, what? That's crazy. 
Conditioned behavior, motor controls, and instinctive behavioral mechanisms are damaged and cognitive abilities are severely retarded and erratic. Subjects can adapt to its damaged nervous systems but is limited to basic physical activities, including standing up, balancing on two legs, walking, biting, grabbing, and crawling. Subjects will energetically move towards sights, sounds, and smells it associates with living humans. Oh, so it infects you and it turns you into basically a zombie. You get like flu-like symptoms, severe dementia, eventually you go into a coma, and then somehow you can also be infected? And that will make it so that you don't need to like ever eat ever again, but you just become this mindless animal zombie. That's fun. Well, let's hope that SCP-0173 gets some of that in him. Oh god, it just gets worse. SCP-035, this one's Keta. Incredibly difficult to contain. Not necessarily harmful. That's what we gotta keep telling ourselves. A control error. Are we going this way? Okay, we can go to the control room, just not directly in. Something smashing glass. Ooh, there's someone there. Hello. Oh, thank God. Found I did. How is everything? We're actually having a containment breach, but you don't seem to be affected. Oh yeah, you think that's going to be a thing that we're going to do? You're an SCP. That's not how this works. You know that. I think 173 is going nuts on the windows. We just have to ignore that. We got a pill? I can't trust you. 173, will you chill out? We got a red pill. I'm starting to lose my patience here. Oh. What will you do? Let's do the two scenarios. We'll let you out for now. I'm letting you out. Chill. There you go. It's open now. Looks like you've already made your way out anyway. Is that like a hole in the wall? Okay, 173 is starting to really grate on me with this smashing of the glass. Right, let's go say hello. We don't know anything about this guy. This door's meant to be open. I don't know why it's not open. It's open. Go ahead. Leave. Escape. Or well, we could turn on the gas valves. And kill him. Is that what we want? I can't get close enough to this thing to be able to push it away. <laughs> I gotta I gotta push myself. <laughs> come on. Come on. I can't do it. We're not allowed to kill you. No matter how hard I try. I can't get close enough. Do you see this? Every time I get close enough, it pushes me away. I guess we'll take the red pill. See what happens. Did I take it? Seems as though I did. So we've taken the red pill. Everything seems fine. Maybe that was like a health pill or something. SCP-173, will you chill? So, SCP-2935, let's get back on track, back on that story. So, yes, all life ceased to exist. Everything, all life on the 20th of April, 2016. So, that's just what it is. It's just, an, it's just a gateway to an alternative universe where nothing exists. Imagine a, a, a world without plants. Imagine a world without people. Imagine a world just without, without anything. Very strange. We can't get anywhere in this place. There's a couple of like logs where they've sent in like a task force to go and explore the area and see maybe like a bit more about it. And I think one of the most interesting ones is that they went to one of their old SCP facilities. Because if, if truly, if all life has died, then as I mentioned in the last episode, SCP... Oh, I can't remember his name now. Uh, 682? I'm going to go with SCP-682. The big crocodile lizard thing that's basically impossible to kill. They went all the way back to a facility to go and see whether 
that is truly dead, whether it's been dead. So they, they, they go all the way to its containment chamber, they find it, they open the containment chamber, and yes, SCV-682 is dead. And if you read if you read the article, it's so much more dramatic. They're basically like, "Oh my God, this is impossible. How could this have happened? Like this is this is literally impossible. We've tried everything to kill this thing, but yet somehow, when all I see to exist, so did that, and that pretty much confirms it. But everything must be dead. If this thing is dead, everything must be dead. But the weirdest thing is, like, nothing rots. So." Because it's, it's like a time freeze, basically. So all the people haven't rotted. It's as if they just died moments ago. So there are people sat around their dinner tables having food. Um, some of the TV channels still worked. And I think one of them was like the shopping channel. They flicked over to the shopping channel and the people presenting it were still there presenting the shopping channel, but they were dead. They just died straight up right there during the show. And they're still being broadcast. It's just so weird. So probably like people behind shopping counters just died straight up right there, right there and then. All of the food, the food never decays. It goes stale. Like the bread can go stale. The bread was hard, but the bread never decays. It never rots away. It's just crazy. Like, can you imagine exploring a world like that? Just like an entire universe? Where nothing seems to be alive anymore? Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I am a bit stumped in terms of where we're going at the moment. We have this level 5 key card, but I don't remember there being anywhere that we could go that could help us out here. I think maybe going all the way back to 2096 is is area. I, no. No. No, why did that just happen? <laughs> We have this torch that's also tiny now, but we can't use it! Oh, we can ring the bell now. This is another SCP that we had. But it was too big to be able to use it, but now we can use it. We don't know what that does. Well, I guess we're just mar marching around without a torch now. There's not a lot we can do. So this was the entrance zone, this is where we need to get through. So, containment system failure at containment SCP-008. Proceed to the nearest evacuation Oh, so we have to go to SCP-008. Which was where that 173 thing was. Oh my god, there was that button on the wall. Do you remember the button? And we went for the document, but we didn't push the button. It was right there. God damn it. So how do we stop SCP-008? This is a mystery to us all. 173 has gone through there. He can get us, so we've got to be careful. Push this button. Which I think just displays that. Which isn't too interesting. Like, if I push it once, look. There you go. So that's done that. So we deny the rights to be able to incinerate it. So there's got to be another way, maybe inside of it. I'm going to try dropping the pill in it. Don't know why that would be a thing. But you never know. What, why is he over there now? Can we close the chamber? Can we? Oh, we can! There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> Just shut the lid. That stops... Oh, my word. Oh my god, I can't get out. I can't get out. Where's the keycard? What's oh, there. <gasps> no! No! Go, 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 go far away. How did he get through the door? How do you do that? Where's the other door? Okay. Nice and easy. Let me out. Not that these doors help, but we have to deal with the giant lightning gate behind us. Oh no, why am I here? It seems 173's gone back to the- nope. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's really not good. Oh. We gotta get far away, we gotta get far away, we gotta get far away. Oh! 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 Huh. I don't know what's happening, my game's freaking out. I'm like, ah! 
Getting stuck on everything. Okay, we just have to pray he can't get through that door. Because I've got to turn around. Because there's the lightning gate behind me. I'm blinking manically. He's not getting me. If I turn around and I die, we're good. Oh my god. That was terrifying. That was genuinely terrifying. Okay, so we just need to make it through the gate now. We've shut SCP-008 out, which is fantastic. We've stopped the virus. And now all that's left to do is to get back to... to the other entrances. What is that? What the hell just happened? What? The gate's going off. What are you?! A paperclip! Attack of the evil paperclip! What the hell? I don't like this. I don't know what I'm dealing with. I don't even know why I'm dealing with it. Just get me the hell out of here before the paperclip finds us. What? You don't suppose that's what SCP-173 looks like once he's been got by the gate? Do you think that's a dead 173? Oh my god. I never thought of it that way. Maybe they can die. Oh god! I'm like blown away now. This is ridiculous. Here we go. This is going to take us to the next level. I think we've made it. Through heavy containment after all of this. Yes. To the entrance zone. Sign me up. God damn, sign me up. It's been a roller coaster. Get me the hell out of here. Save. God damn save. The medical bay. I'm in need of medical attention. Like mental health is through the ceiling right now. You have to be level 5 to go into medical containment? But why? Don't tell me the doctor's been here. Are you a plague doctor zombie? Oh my god, you are. Oh, you're quick. Oh god. Um, can we talk this out? Jeez, man. Right, we'll get him through here. Maybe we can bait him out. Over here. Oh god, what's he doing? <laughs> what's he doing? This is a bit awkward. Oh, we can go through this gate. The mobile task force is here to clean up the mess. That's great. That means we're we're close to being out. What's this? A Kevlar vest? Yes. No? No. Why would we need that, right? Of course we're not gonna need it. It's out. Proceeding. <laughs> Okay, these are all the, the, the various doctors of the facility. SCP-999! Wait, it is a tiny blob. But the document says it's so huge. SCP-999's in Harp's office. Should we go see? Is he still here? Are you still here? <gasps> he is! So when it sleeps, it's in like a dome format. But then when it gets up, it's so much bigger. Oh, he's got his little candy fo food. And he's got like some form of bath bed. This is great! Here it is! It's kind of cool that I got to tell you the story before we saw it. Should we open it up? He should just play with us. We're doing a tickle fight. How you doing? <coughs> oh! <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle! <coughs> oh, we can just pick him up! Oh, God! Flubber, 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 flubber. Can we put you in your little bath? In you go. Maybe not eyes down. So this thing should be a lot more like animate in the real... Real SCP universe, but it's kind of cute and we can play with it. Oh, we can stretch.
So, we're escaping. Moving on. Trying to forget my sins. Well, there's still coffee in this guy's cup. What have we got here? I bet it's another one of those nuke things. These flyers are everywhere. It's like, don't forget, we could always just nuke the facility. It's like, okay, well, maybe some of us want to get out of here alive. Never thought of that. So I don't know how big this place is and whether we're going to have another ordeal to get through before we get to the gate entrance. It seems like we might do, but this is a lot more of the residential area. I say residential, I mean more like the research area. That's another one of these rooms. Time to sprint through. Oh, so these are, yeah, so this must be where they move SCPs to kind of observe them to do some testing. Makes sense. Be interesting to know what SCPs we have around here. Hey, we've got some famous figures. Level 5 as well. Dr. Gears. Dr. D.H. A. Slinger. And then, you know, the man, the myth, Dr. Einstein. <laughs> Didn't realise he was a part of the SCP facility, but why wouldn't he be? Let's try this way. Okay, that's a dead end. So this way is hopefully not a dead end? No. Good. Oh, drop that. That's going to be important. We definitely need the level 5 above everything else. I can't believe that the research area is completely level 5 blocked. Kind of makes no sense. Although I guess if the D-Class lived down with the SCPs in, in, the, like, in the chambers, then you probably would need level 5 to get out of the place. That makes more sense. Oh, this is that SCP. SCP-966. Do we have our torch? Does any of these work? Oh, even the map's tiny now. What are we going to do? <laughs> what can we do with all of this? It's useless. I'm just glad that the keycard's still the right size. Alright, well, we'll take it with us. If we can find somewhere that's got a bit more lights to it, then I'll give it a read. Uh, and go this way. I think there was a staircase, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I should think it would be smooth sailing from here on out. Now that we've made it, this would be the first place that you would evacuate. All of the scientists and the researchers, and the important people, the directors. Gate B! I think this is it. No! Maybe it's not! We can't leave just yet! Wait. Did you see something there? Nothing. Okay. <sighs> so we need to go find gate A then. Or gate C. Or however many gates there may be. Ooh, here's some good lighting. So SCP-966, the four specimens of SCP-996, three males designated 1, 3, and 4, and one female designated 2, acquired by the Foundation must be contained in a 10 by 10 meter room made of steel and lined with lead, located on site blank. Two security cameras with infrared filters and infrared sensitive film are to be installed inside of the room. Each specimen of SCP-966 is to be fed with 20 kilograms of meat every month. SCP-966 are visible only at wavelengths ranging from 700 nanometers to about 900 nanometers. This applies to all of the specimens of SCP-996, regardless of their current state. They feed on medium to large sized animals, including humans. They hunt other alone, uh, either alone or in pairs. Their hunting methods consist of emitting a single burst of a previously unknown type of wave, dubbed as Blank Waves, in honour of the late Dr. Blank, which permanently inhibits the ability of the affected creature to enter in any of the NREM or NREM sleep stages. The ability to microsleep is also lost, so they, they emit a wave that just prevents you from sleeping. It's kind of evil. After depriving their victims of sleep, they will stalk their prey until the lack of rest incapacitates it. At this point, they will proceed to consume it. They have proved to be very agile and silent while stalking their victims. On occasion, they will deliberately make threatening noises around their prey in order to further stress it, and may even physically assault it if the victim proves to be particularly durable. Fun stuff. So even if we, even if they were escaped and they were wandering around the facility, we wouldn't be able to see them anyway, because they're at, they might be outside of our natural wavelengths of light. I guess that explains why the picture's black and white, if they took like an infrared picture or something. There's a map down here, which could be very useful. Some form of light as well. Is there another torch? 
No. Okay. Oh, and a battery. Yes. It's huge. So, I mean, I don't think it works, actually. Oh, no, it does. Yes. It's just so hard to tell now because it's so small. Okay, we'll get rid of the tiny map. It doesn't even have gravity. It's that small. <laughs> Do you see it? Oh, no. How are you meant to use that? Oh, my God. <laughs> this game is a beautiful mess, I think. I think... Let's, let's do a little summary, actually. They, they've done an absolutely fantastic job of this. You have to remember this entire game was made by a team of two people. And mostly made by Bezbro, but with a little help of his other friend. I'm not sure what his name was. So, in terms of what they've managed to do, in virtual reality, is, is pretty insane. What have we got here? Some little kid? I can't pick it up. What is this? It's like a spliff. <laughs> what are they doing in the office here? It's another level five. Weird the day that I kind of turned down a level five, but there you go. We've already got one. Yeah, like, they've managed to recreate the game almost perfectly. There is a couple of bugs here and there, but nothing has ever been game breaking. And I think that's really kind of the achievement that you've got to kind of get here. Nothing has able to, like, stopped me from progressing, ever. There's been a couple of funny bugs here and there, like some of the SCPs don't attack me, everything kind of resizes and it's all a bit weird, but nothing has ever prevented me from getting through a door, nothing has ever prevented me from finding a keycard, they all spawn in the right locations, I, I can get through the map without any problems, and I think that is the game's biggest achievement here. So it basically means that any other fixes that the game may have will just be making it more and more stable. And that's a fantastic place to be in. So, I've really got nothing but admiration. And you've got to remember, like, making a VR game is a lot harder than making a standard game. Because you have to deal with all sorts of weird interactions with your hands and whatnot. And making them physical like this... Like, I get feedback when I touch this wall. Like, I get vibrations in my controller, my hand cannot pass through the wall. That's fantastic. And that really adds to all of the immersion and everything, and just the whole experience. And the ambition that the developers have to kind of move on and make this game a multiplayer game as well is insane. Like, I, I've, my, I've actually, I do a little bit of game programming in my spare time, and multiplayer is one of the most savage things that you can make in like, just all together. Multiplayer is tough, because you have to essentially go back and rewrite most of your code to be compatible with multiplayer. So he's got a hell of a job ahead of him, and I really wish him all the best. And if he can pull it off, then the man's a legend in my eyes, because that is no small task. Well, I think that's all I've got time for today anyway. So I'm going to end it there, and in the next episode we will probably explore this floor, and then it will be time to escape. So what a journey we've been on, and thank you very much for everyone who's still following along with this series, who, everyone who's enjoying the game, and everyone who's kind of, maybe you're rediscovering Containment Breach after a while, that you haven't played it in a long time, or you haven't watched it in a long time, or maybe this is your first experience with Containment Breach. Either way, thank you very much for coming on this journey with me, and I, I can't wait to get to the end. It's going to be hopefully great, hopefully fulfilling, and hopefully a nice end to what is a fantastic game, in all intents and purposes. So thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next one. So until then, I goodbye! <laughs>